<laughs> All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're, uh, I guess we're messing with part five here. I just couldn't pass it up, an opportunity to go ahead and do a buffer tube review because you know what my pet peeves are if you follow my channel. Sometimes with the tooling of the interior of the buffer tube, they leave ridges. Now, what do ridges cause? They cause friction, they cause heat, they cause wear, and they cause noise, which is absolutely, in my mind, annoying. So I thought it was well worth the while to go ahead and do a review on the Luth AR. This is a carbine buffer tube assembly. Bought this because, one, it was economics. I, I think that uh, this is less than 30 bucks where I bought it. Big Daddy Unlimited. Somewhere along in that lines. But anyway, this contains the AR carbine buffer extension tube, AR carbine buffer to AR carbine buffer spring to latch plate receiver end plate castle nut. And there's a couple things that are really important when you are buying stuff like this. One is sometimes I have seen the castle nut and it's made of aluminum. And I am not a big fan of that. Okay, so uh, moving forward, I just keep an eye out on those things, guys. Those are some important things. But anyway, Luth they are they they are a pretty reliable product. Mr. Luth is a pretty incredible guy in the industry, and uh, he was very instrumental in starting uh, and helping a couple other companies be very very successful until he made his own. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Uh, anodizing that looks really really good. I like that. It, you can always tell when the anodizing is good. It's, it, it just feels good. It's got that texture to it. It's almost like a texture. The uh, base plate, let's take a look at that. And the castle nut. The castle nut is indeed a, what appears to be steel. You can take a look at that. Uh, I'll tell you what, there's one way we can find out. Stand by. Take my little trusty magnet here, and there you go. It's made of steel, not aluminum. Aluminum bad, steel good. This is one part of the rifle that I've actually, and I don't have it up there anymore because my shelf fell down, but I have split these things, believe it or not. Aluminum will split on you. Uh, buffer. It's buffering. Sounds pretty good. This is a uh, standard buffer, which should weigh exactly three ounces, and it does. All right, taking a look at a spring. And guys, I, I, you know, I've got about every spring there is. Cool spring, Geisley springs, all the other cool springs. This is a general buffer. This is just a general build, so this is just a nice spring, I guess. Okay. The base plate. Are you made of steel? Yeah, you are. That's good stuff. Not sure what this is made of, 7075 aluminum. Not sure, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stick our finger in there. Hmm. Feels pretty smooth inside. Another thing I want you to take a look at whenever you are looking at buffer tubes is this channel right here. How defined is that channel? I've seen them where they just kind of gaggle up at the end. The machining is horrible. Another thing I'd like for you to look at, one, two, three, four, five, six, is how this particular channel right here is centered in, on the extension right here. I've actually seen those offset. A lot of times you'll find that. Eh, not a lot of times, but it has been known. Uh, drain hole on the end of it, but I tell you what, man, I'm just digging how that feels. So here's the test. We're going to take our poker. I'm going to hold it up there. Microphone. And you're feeling, you're hearing a good, solid noise. So anyway, the interior of this one, it, it feels very, very nice. I don't know if you can see up in there. But anyway, all right, so I really just wanted to show you guys exactly what a good example of a budget buffer tube system is. Uh, what we're looking for is not a lot of scraping inside because this guy right here, she's going in and out of this bad boy. In and out, in and out, in and out. Oh, shoot. I got to do a giveaway. All right, guys, well, that's it. It's Coda Boy 32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men. Women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. I'll be back. See you.